Take the kids to the Einstein Project Science Expo at Shopko Hall today. There are a lot of hands-on activities for the kids to do. This morning we're joined by Julia Pavla, who is going to teach us about the science of skateboarding this morning. Now, Julia, you're not going to be on a skateboard, are you? Oh, no. I'm getting a little Aww. too old for skateboarding, but it sure looks like fun, doesn't it? It would be fun and to see you do it. Oh, I'm sure. That would probably be very entertaining. <laughs> like, I'm always looking for more YouTube clips, though. <laughs> uh, absolutely. And you know it would get there very quickly. <laughs> now, we've, we've got some... We're here at the Science Expo. Yeah, we've got the Science Expo going. We've got some kids behind you doing some, uh, some great jumps right there. Yeah, these guys are great. We have uh, North and South Promotions and the uh, under Overpass 54 State Project. And these guys are going to be doing their stuff today and showing us how science relates to skateboarding. Because as you know, science is all around us. And when you come to the expo today, you can find out all about the cool things in the world that, that relate to science. Jobs and fun things and everything around you. And we have the, uh, the, the uh, skateboarders here today and also some BMX guys with their bikes. And they're going to be doing some fun stuff. So it's a great thing to do on such a rainy, dreary day. So how does skateboarding relate to science? Well, we have Michael Rader here, and Michael Rader is with North to South Promotions and the project, and he's going to talk a little bit about how the science part of this is going to relate today. And how does skateboarding really relate to this? Well, uh, to sum it up in four basic points, it relates, we have gravity, we have momentum, we have friction, and we have kinetic energy. Those are basically the four main points that break down into about almost every sport such as snowboarding, biking, and skateboarding. And we're here today, we're basically going to explain those four points for everybody that comes out and watches us. Very what kind of things are kids going to see when they come today? Um, well, they should see exactly what's on TV right now. Uh, we, have, we have three different skateboarders here to show us, and we have three different bikers here to show us what they're going to be doing. We're going to be using every single ramp here. We're going to be doing as many tricks as we can to fit in while breaking everything down. And basically, they should just be witnessing science firsthand. Very interesting stuff. Thank you so much. And uh, Julie, I know we'll be with you guys uh, later on this morning. What else are you going to be showing us? Well, we have all sorts of fun things today. People can do some hair-raising activities with electricity. That'll be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. We're also going to, yeah, we're also going to have um, we're putting kids in a giant bubble, which will be kind of fun to do. They can get inside of a bubble. So if you ever wanted to see what that looked like, today's the day to do it. We'll have a robot here that'll be wandering the floors of the Expo Hall. And certainly our science fair, which is what our kids are going to be doing. The second through eighth grade kids are all going to have projects set up where they're going to try their hand at something in science. And so they'll be putting those on display. We'll be seeing a couple of those later this morning on Fox 11. And certainly Pete Petoniak will be here, and I know Doug's going to stop by. I will. And folks can take their hand and try to do a little bit of weather forecasting. Yes. It's going to be fun, I promise you. <laughs> A lot you. of fun really things. Yeah. Julie, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks again. Thank you.